I don't think I need to tell you this right now, but Bible Black is a hentai, so you are technically watching a hentai review. While this video is totally safe for work in regards to its video and images present here, I'm probably going to say some things you might want to put on some headphones for if there's somebody around who can hear. Bible Black has got to be the most popular hentai of all time, and honestly, I feel that it's very overrated. A lot of people talk about it, and it's become this taboo that you should never watch, and I often find that the, a lot of people that uh, talk about it in such a manner would never ever watch any hentai or, you know, are just completely opposed to that sort of thing, but Bible Black is a common household name to many people, and honestly, it's not really that big of a deal. I mean, people watch anime with stuff like this, you know. There are a lot of worse things out there in anime than Bible Black, even though there is a lot of uh, strange stuff in here, like there's torture and there's rape and stuff, there are a lot of hentai that actually do worse. At least all of the characters here appear to be of age, at least there's no lolis or anything, because that's disgusting and... I don't want to see anything like that. Personally, me, as in regards to the hentai as a, uh, as a genre, I like it on the level of this is really dumb and I find it funny. I don't really get any sort of arousal out of it. That would be kind of weird to make a video like I'd rate it like 8 boners out of 10 or something. That's kind of weird. But with Bible Black and with all a hentai like it, it's just really trashy and you just can't turn away from it. And uh, the English dub really takes it up to another level. That's why whenever I watch hentai, I always watch it with English dub just because it's funny. It's Good evening. Big titted bitch. It's trashy, it's cheesy, you know? You just can't look away from stuff like that. It's not really anything that's sexual for me. And um, that's just the way I feel about that. Getting into the story, I wanted to make this review looking really deep into the story of Bible Black just for the fun of it, because usually that's what I'll do with the stories and give it the rating and uh, grade its characters and everything like that. But it just can't be done with the Bible Black. There's nothing here. Can't you understand? I'm gonna rip her ass! There's really no structure to the story whatsoever. We have our protagonist that has this evil uh, spell book that he's using it to make all the women around him have sex. And uh, the only semblance of story that you can find is only used as a plot device. Well, not even that. It's a sex device to string together different sex scenes. And that's it. And if it wasn't for that, then... It would just be a sex compilation, which it probably would have been better off as because the story is its really kind of dumb. Uh, we have our protagonist that has this evil spell book that can make women do whatever he wants. And then uh, that spell book came from this evil satanic ritual that happened in the past where these girls got together and sacrificed this one other girl but they didn't do it right and she lived and because of that she had this evil demonic power and then the book came out of it but somehow he has the book I don't think anything about how the book works or how he got it was explained I don't remember and uh, then we have the woman who came out of that she was supposed to be the sacrifice she was supposed to be the virgin sacrifice they stabbed her and it didn't work so she was the last remaining survivor of that uh, whole sacrificial thing and uh, now she grows dicks so yeah Bob Samurai's talking about dick girls <laughs> not thick girls dick girls but she basically grows a dick and then just has sex with everybody it's just as bad as it sounds, honestly. So basically, the extent of the plot is the protagonist, which I wouldn't even want to call him that, uh, is just him having sex with a bunch of women, him forcing them to do stuff with the power of the book, and then also the dick girl is making women do the same thing, and she's trying to set back up this same uh, sacrifice again so that she can have a different body. Like, I don't get it. What's wrong with the body you have? Why, don't, why are you even needing to do this? And then at the end of the... At the end of the six episodes, I'm gonna spoil it, I'm pretty sure nobody here cares, but uh, there's this stupid twist ending at the end of it where the uh, main character's love interest actually has her inside of her body, the antagonist, so she starts growing a dick too. And there's sequels and there's prequels to Bible Black, but uh, I'm just talking about the original story here. And uh, <laughs> it is really dumb. 
but as far as like on a technical level how this works as a hentai uh, it, it works fairly well if you're into the whole torture and rape thing which it's kind of not even technically rape it's just like oh no he's raping me like they're totally fine with it for some reason nobody resists anything in this anime technically speaking as far as the overall presentation goes uh, the animation and art style is actually very good for this this is probably one of the better drawn and animated hentai that I've ever seen and you have to imagine that most most of these are very low budget and most of the people that watch it they don't have the blood up here in their brain when they're watching it it's all down there so nobody thinks about that sort of thing but it is animated much better than many other hentai out there plus uh, this came out in 2001 it ran from 2001 to 2003 seeing as how this is a six episode OVA and it looks better than some anime which have come out after it which aren't hentai and probably had a bigger budget I'm assuming so yeah it, as a hentai, it works very well as far as the presentation goes, as far as the animation. As far as the audio, I'm going to cut past the music, because who talks about music and porn, but I'm going to talk about the voice acting here. The Japanese voice acting, why are you going to watch this in Japanese? I, I know you could just want to watch subtitles, but just watch it with the English if you're going to watch this. Granted, I'm not telling anybody to watch it if they're underage or anything. Uh, if you're going to watch this, please be over 18, because it is porn technically but the english voice acting it really takes it to a whole nother level i don't think i can do what the effective magician saiki can do true it would look mysterious if shiraki did these things but not minasi no hey money you shut up it's so bad it's like you had people from different countries that have never spoken English before and they learned in a week by just reading and they never heard anybody speak English before. It is terrible. I really cannot put into words how bad the English dub is. So I'm going to have to include some of those bits in this video here just so that you can uh, get on the same page with me as far as that terrible voice acting goes. But there we go. There we have it. Bible Black. Um, if you like hentai, you've probably already seen it. And if you haven't seen hentai yet, then it's probably not that big of a deal. But again, uh, this is definitely for an 18 or older audience because it is technically porn. So anyways, let me know your thoughts about Bible Black in the comments section below. Why did I do this? Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. No. It's called hentai and it's art.